Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Stormworks. We are back working on our ultimate rescue helicopter. If you're with us last time, we actually put in the dash, which is really nice because it gives us all kinds of really good information. Uh, today, I want to work on some like some small things and I think we're going to put some other systems in here, which I think will be really great. Uh, but yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and grab this and jump into the workbench and let's start playing around with it. All right, so just a couple cosmetic things here. Let's, uh, I wanted to fix these, this area here. It looks a little too unfinished, so we can come in here and put some actual pipes here and that'll make this look a lot nicer. We're just gonna get an angled pipe here. Uh, let's make sure we're doing this on both sides so we don't have to do it twice. And we're gonna delete you, 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 you and you. And we'll just start placing these. Oh, are these not gonna, it's gonna make it different every time. Okay, good. I thought it was gonna be different every single time I placed it because it likes to do that sometimes. And I think we can come in here and do one here and here as well. Should make this look a lot neater and cleaner. And like that should work. Uh, yeah, that works really good. Uh, I'm also gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna get rid of these. Doot, doot, doot. And we'll just fill those in like so. And the way we'll make this look nice is we'll get rid of all these. Put in some of those. We'll get rid of that four right there. We'll get rid of that four right there. And we're gonna grab this guy. And we're just gonna slap that in just like that. And that makes that look nice and clean right there. And we can just do something like that and finish that off. You know what, we can actually put one of these here. Did I find the piece? Where's the piece at? That is the piece. There we go. And there we go. And now that's nice and smooth on the side and it doesn't look as bad as it did before. All right, that's all nice and done there. It looks clean, looks good, I like it. Uh, let's see, I kind of wanted to work on this area too here because they've got these little monitor sections here. Uh, what could we do for these people? Maybe something like that, something like that. Uh, let's copy the transponder. I think that'll be a nice little uh, addition to have back here. Let's see, let's take mirror mode off. Uh, let's see, let's give them a give them a compass ball back here. I think that'll be nice. Uh, we can put this on both sides. Uh, that looks all right. They don't need a whole lot back here. They just need some stuff, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's make sure we get our video feed coming from that as well. Uh, so whatever our video feed for here. That is this guy right here, and we'll feed these as well. Uh, we'll give these guys some power, 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 and we need to turn these on. Um, actually, I'm gonna put a button for these guys uh, for their own systems. Uh, that way, we're not running these all the time. Uh, we'll save power where we can. Uh, so I need a toggle. We'll put that right there, and this will turn on our backlight and our monitor and our backlight and our monitor. And let's give this guy some power as well. Power and power. Perfect, there we go. So now they can kind of help with uh, search and rescue. They can kind of give us a direction of where we're looking. And yeah, that should look really good. Uh, I really want to start painting some of this stuff, but if I start painting it, I'm gonna have to repaint it back just so I can see around in this area. So I think I'll save painting for later, but I think that looks good. I think that's good for now. Now, one thing I did want to do is I want to move the, uh, the winch buttons. Uh, I did not like them back there. They just felt like they were too far and out of the way. So I think I'm gonna bring these guys forward. Let's rotate those until we figure out which way they go. And we'll stick it right next to our bed button here, which is going to really confuse things. Uh, maybe we turn our bed button sideways. That's probably what we need to do. Uh, let's paste that. Let's merge that. Let's get our bed button here. Can I grab the bed button? There we go. We'll cut you. Can I rotate it? It doesn't like being rotated. There we go. We'll do that like that, like that. And obviously that's clipping into the bed. So we can go up one. Perfect. Paste that. We'll put a little block in here, merge that. And now you won't be looking at that as a button that's part of the winch and we can just kinda, kinda do that. Okay, fill that in, fill that in. Uh, I'm gonna need a door button as well, so we'll grab that. Mirror mode off, I don't wanna delete stuff on the other side, so that'll be our another door button. Uh, let's get some power. And now we can take that. Oh, this is gonna be, let me figure this out. Okay, so let's disconnect that. I think I have to have this one come into here, this one come into here. I think they're all looped. If I turn on this one, it'll turn on this one, which in turn turns on this one, which in turn turns on that one. I don't know if uh, that's a correct, I think this is a four way. I think that's what we're making here. And it's uh, in my brain, it's not working like I, like I think it's good. So we'll have to test that out. We'll try that out. Let's put some power. I think there's power on all of that. Let's uh, double check and look. Let me let me just test, test this out real quick. All right, so we'll get in. 
jump in make sure our winch goes up yes it does perfect okay if i do that the door opens okay it looks like it turns on all the buttons and if i just hit another button can i hit the door can i, can I, can I shut the door please okay all right it does work all right so that does what i wanted it to do excellent uh you know what this does need Let's see, we've got all our systems in here, but we need some lights on this thing. I've got spotlights on the front, but I need some spotlights to face. Okay, I've got one facing down. Uh, I feel like it would be nice to have some that face sideways. Oh, I've already done all this. I just need to hook all these up. That's what I need to do. Uh, so I've got, let's see, I've got our navigation lights. Do I have a tail light here? I do have a tail light. Is any of this coming on when I turn on the helicopter? That is a good question. Uh, let's see, systems. That should automatically turn on our nav lights, uh, so we just can get those going. We'll just always run nav lights, perfect. And now let's do our spotlights. Uh, I'm gonna start with the, let's see, we'll do hotkey one will be our front lights. Hotkey two will be our bottom light, if I can find it, bottom light. And hotkey three will be our side lights. There's that one and that one, all right. Now let's uh let's label this. Front, spots, bottom, and spot sides. Alright, and that should get us there. Uh I guess we can test that out. Uh, I also want to add some flares to this. Uh flares are super useful, and I've got a nice little zone back here that I think I could do this. Uh so let's get rid of all that. Actually, let me double check. Make sure that wasn't a microcontroller. I like to stick the long microcontrollers there and I tend to delete them. Uh so we're good there. Let's get rid of all of that. Let's go have our flares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't think we'll need any more than that. And I think they should go through the props here. I think we won't have any problems there uh, with it just smacking it and maybe smacking it in another direction. If it does, that'd be kind of funny and cool to see, but uh, we'll, we'll go with there. Uh, let me get the microcontrollers that I've got for this and then we'll, uh, we'll plug that in. All right, I've got my microcontroller here. I've also got the switch box that goes with it. So let's go ahead and just paste this here. Um, where do I want to move this? First, let's paint it white. Let's go ahead and... Uh, make it match uh flares could you know what this is our rescue uh transponder here and i did say i wanted to move this up so i'm gonna move this up we'll go up to there we'll paste it uh we'll just stick a block in there like that like that and like that we'll merge this now that looks nice uh and i think i'll put my flare button right here uh so let's grab this cut that rotate it the right way and we'll come and slide this guy right in here Paste it, merge it, and I think that looks pretty good. Cause uh, yeah, that looks good. So we'll have our transponder. We'll be able to locate somebody, and then when we get there, we'll boom, we'll pop off a flare, and then we can see what we're doing. Uh, cool. And then we actually put something else there as well. Uh, do I mimic this on the other side? Uh, maybe just uh, maybe I just mimic this part, and we'll just leave. You know, what? we're not using that monitor yet. Let me go ahead and just delete it. Uh, we'll save on cash there. All right, so let's get this other guy. Let's uh, cut him and move him out of the way. And you know what, we'll just put it right here, real close to the flares. That way it's uh, easy to understand where this guy's at. And where can I put him? Uh, is that a good spot? That's a good spot. Paste it, merge it. Okay, now let's hook this up. Uh, let's see, first let's go in, make sure we got eight flares, eight flares, eight flares, that's good. We're gonna wanna hook up our launch flare to the first one, and it's designed to just pass through, which is cool. Uh, so we'll do all that. And we don't really need more than eight flares. Uh, I do have a buzzer on this. I don't. I think I need the buzzer to let me know that we're launching a flare. Uh, we do have an indicator light here too that lets us know that the flare has been launched and we have a counter. And yeah, I think that should be good there. Uh, what else can we do here? Uh, what colors are these? We need to make sure that these are all illumination white. Muzzle velocity, we're gonna crank these all the way up so they go as high as possible so they have the longest uh, hang time. And we're also gonna switch them to illuminate parachute. Uh, and that will give it the maximum uh, drop time that we can get out of it. Uh, so it'll just have a little parachute, it'll drag itself down real nice and slow, and it'll illuminate the area for us at night, which will be really nice. All right, that's all done, that's good there. Okay, so we've got flares, we've got our lights. Uh, let me test these lights out real quick, see what they, if they work. Uh, we'll turn things down here, we'll make it a little dark. Ooh, it's really dark. I can't see, where is the helicopter? Here we go, we'll hop in. There are no lights. Let's see. Should be a light closer to the door, I think. Okay, so we've got our red lights. That works. We can see. Uh, med bed light. Perfect. There is no light back here, which I feel like 
we're gonna need it's 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 kind of hard to work in an area like that if it's uh if it's pitch black uh does the door still opens okay perfect and the bed still comes out perfect everything like i need it to let's get up this way we have interior lights for here perfect up here we have these guys perfect awesome and yes yeah, spotlights okay so first of all let's see our navigation lights are on that's good uh i don't have any blinking lights i think i need blinking for helicopters so we'll have to add those uh spotlights let's see front lights we've got spots there perfect uh bottom lights i can't see and side lights so we can see what's going on beside us uh let's get in the air i want to see if this one actually works underneath us here uh bottom spotlight there we go how much can we see absolutely nothing as we're landing so we're gonna need to put some lights kind of up front here that face down maybe these will help we're gonna have to use all all our spots to land hmm might need some more spotlights all right so we've got a spotlight there i think we need something here to kind of see up underneath our cockpit as we're landing uh, i don't know the best place to put this i'm thinking just right here i feel like that would be the best spot for it uh now that looks ugly so we'll have to fix that but that's all right we'll mirror mode get ourselves an inverse block and we can place that right there just like so all right, perfect. And let's hook that up to our bottom one. That was three. And give it power. And let's see. Bottom spots. Okay, yes, a lot better. So we can actually see what is underneath us as we're as we're landing. Uh, so that's good. All right, let's see. Let me change the time back because that's uh, really dark. Uh, let's get in here and let's add a couple more of these guys here. We'll grab a light. Uh, we'll put one back here. One can go there and one underneath somewhere. We'll just put it next to the, uh, to the spot. All right, we're just gonna paint these guys red. Uh, that one gets red and this one gets red. Uh, let's grab a blinker. That's perfect. We'll stick this just right here inside. Uh, yeah, power would be good. Let's do power, power to that light and this light. We want the data signal to come out of our blinker to here and to, oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go, light? And from there, we'll go to our systems and that'll turn it on. What's our blink rate like? Uh, half a second, half a second. Uh, what does that look like? Blink, 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 blink. That's not bad. Uh, guys, if you know exact, uh, the exact timing on those things, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to change it. Uh, I know they're just there for uh, visuals and to see, you know, to identify that it is a helicopter. Um, but let me know. I'm not great with the lights, uh, but I think we've got it there. Let's test our flares. Uh, so we'll arm this. Uh, let's turn it dark again perfect oh i didn't give it power that would be a thing all right so we'll get that guy some power perfect uh we can illuminate him as well all right power on launch a flare it launched it there it is okay nice nice and bright perfect that works really really good uh i'm excited about that that is gonna make rescue missions super super nice uh i think now we need to put in the Alt hold and position hold uh, that way we can get in and out of this thing uh, solo that would be really good uh, but I think I'm gonna end it there I uh, just want to get a couple of things done here today I want to get the lights turned on get some flares put in it gets a little bit more systems in it but guys if you are enjoying this series make sure you throw a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and yeah there will be more of this helicopter to come